I was gonna shoot this video or what, bro? Are you mad because you didn't go with me? You don't want to review because you didn't go with me? Is that it? I need you, man. You my cameraman. I need you, cameraman. They need you. They ready for you, Percy. Come on. Wipe the mind boogers out, man. Get up. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's go, baby. Yeah, stretch it out. Ooh, stretch it out, boy. Ooh. Ooh, Pilates. What is going to do, YouTube? Welcome back to the episode of Food Foodie. Okay, so today, guys, I'm taking you guys to a Shabu Shabu restaurant. So this place is called Shabu Town. And it's the first time I've been to one that's all you can eat. So I'm kind of really excited about this, my G. So for those who don't know, Shabu Shabu is like a hot pot dish that uses thinly sliced meat and vegetables and boiling water. So what you're doing is swishing around the meat in there. And that's what the name, that's how they get the name Shabu Shabu because of the sound effect of swish swish. But here you can see I'm going to select my, bar, my broth over here. They got a, a few selections, and you know your boy, your boy like it hot and spicy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and get that number five, that Thai spicy soup base, okay? Oh, to the right, you got uh, your different types of meats that you got. These are the more premium style meats, your beefs and pork. Uh, the other food is all served on the, um, on the floor. Matter of fact, let's go over there and take a look at that right now. So they got shrimp, they got crabs, they got clams, they got the octopus, calamari uh, oh they got crawfish so hey for all my brothers and sisters just want to have their own little mini crawfish ball you can do it my g all you can eat all you can eat uh, they got different types of noodles and uh fish cakes dumplings so you know this is the section i'll be like maybe a little weary of just because that's gonna fill you up a little too quick my bro you ain't you trying to get you trying to get your money where Okay, then go a little bit further on the other side. They got different type of mushrooms. So whatever type of mushrooms you like, they got it. You know, uh, sweet potatoes and uh, lotus chips. Bruh, they got it. Okay, even for y'all fruit lovers. They got a little fruity duty over there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't touched that spot, but you know, you can. You know, I, I added some of them jalapenos, different type of vegetables. So cabbage, spinach. What, what, what you what you trying to throw in there? Throw it all in there. You see your boy didn't pull it out. This is mine right here. So I didn't get to show y'all the sauce uh, area over there, but yeah, they got different type of sauces. Uh, yeah, this is basically my this is my starter. So you see my little pot is it's 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 good to go. Say look, Grace, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to God. Well, him, we won't be here. So all right, all right, amen. Boom. Okay, let's get right into it. So that's all you do. You just swish, swish, swish. Uh, and I mean, it don't take long for this stuff to cook, man. The, the meat is uh, sliced very thinly. So, like what, this is probably like 10, 15 seconds? Boom. It's already, for some of y'all, I may like it like that. You know, your boy, old school, I need a little bit more cook. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more cook for your boy. And then you just, uh, depending on how you really like to eat it. Me, personally, uh, I always eat mine with rice because that's just how I started. But, you know, that rice, like I said, it's going to fill you up a little bit quicker. But I can eat a little bit more than other people. I just enjoy it with the rice. So, right here, I put a little bit of that sauce in there. Ooh, look at that money shot, boy. Ooh. So, I like I like the ponzu sauces. I like the sesame uh, seed-style sauces. Right here, I tried a little something different for the shrimp that I cooked up. You know, I, I've never had this type of sauce before. It was it was different. I mean, it was good. Put it on there. Let's, let's get it. I pay for it all. Let's eat it all. You feeling me? Because I think I'm, like, on my... Fifth plates right here, sixth plates. I think I was getting two at a time. So they bring the beef ones out. Like you just tell the waitress, hey, I want more, I want more. They don't just leave it out for you to just get, but you know, because you know, boys might waste it. Oh, for the purpose of this video, I did try the dumplings. You know, I they had a kimichi style dumpling and that then the regular pork. So here's the pork right here. You know, like I said, I do not recommend you to eat this type of. Oh, your boy arm oh, looking like. Oh, your boy been working hard. I tell you, I'm coming for y'all. Oh, anyway, so like this, this right here, bro. It's just regular pork dumpling. And as you see, I'll try to show y'all what is inside. I mean, I still had to dip it. Like it had no flavor. I had to dip it. So it's not even top quality dumplings like that. It's just regular dumplings. But here I got uh, the tin, which is the natural pork belly. I didn't like that one as much. Uh, I kept ordering number five and number three over and over again. So just to let y'all know what I was eating on specifically. I should have tried all of them, but unfortunately I didn't. I'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> you know what I'm so for those that want to see the seafood, here you go right here, man. So I had the shrimp and some crab. Just to let you know, the seafood does take longer to cook than the beef because 
you know, the beef is thinly sliced. The seafood is not. <laughs> uh, also, vegetables take longer to cook. Man, this is the best thing about this place. You can go, you, you pescatarian, just go all seafood. If you're a vegetarian, go all vegetables. You can do whatever you want to do. Uh, me, personally, I don't like shrimp like this because I don't like peeling anything. So, that's the only negative about right here is that I don't like those type of uh, shrimp where I have to peel it myself. The crabs were extremely small, but I mean, it's all you can eat, so what What can you expect? So like two hours and 45 minutes later, your boy finally felt that, felt that itis kick in. I was, eh, I'm out of there, boy. Mainly because it's right here. This, <laughs> that receipt came, and I'm like, hey, I, I think I'm sick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I wasn't too bad, man. Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the place, man. A lot, a lot. Okay, man, so that's gonna conclude our Shabu Town visit. Uh, I was gonna get a place like a 9.3 out of 10, but realistically, it's a 10 out of 10. Mainly because I was trying to downgrade it for specific pet peeves that I have. I don't like peeling shrimp. I want my shrimp <laughs> already peeled. Uh, me being black, I want the biggest crab legs you can you can find. You know, if I'm, if I'm paying any type of price, I want the biggest crab legs. But unfortunately, let's be realistic. The size that I want won't even fit inside that little pot. So <laughs> I feel like that's just me. I'm just overdoing it. So we're here for flavor. You know what I'm saying? We, we all about the taste buds on this channel. And therefore, that's why the place is going to get a 10 out of 10. Because technically, you are deciding the flavor. You, if yours ain't tasting right, you ain't you ain't salt baying it up. You ain't salt bay. You ain't you may not even become bay if you don't know how to cook, shawty. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're doing it all yourself. So. I mean, the place provided everything that you could want. Uh, like I say, Shabu Shabu originally though, like I said, you usually buy the meat, premium meats and everything on a plate. You buy that plate and that's it. So all you can eat does sound good. It does have some downsides. Like I said, you're a vegetarian or vegan. It's gonna be a downside due to the fact that, I mean, you could probably spend like, I think when I used to go to one Yoshi Shabu Shabu and I ate all vegetables. I think it costs like, um, What's Percy going? Percy, it costs like probably like six, five dollars for just a plate of a bunch of vegetables. Here, so if you're veg vegetarian or vegan, it's gonna cost, you're paying the price of that beef. So you're gonna be spending way more money than you have to. That's the only downside. Fortunately, I'm not vegan or vegetarian. I mean, I can, I do sometimes eat just that stuff, but I eat anything. So <laughs> with that being said, the place is a 10 out of 10, man. Shabu Town, two thumbs up. I got Percy Bone. You gonna say something? You gonna give him, what you gonna give him? You gonna give him two paws? Percy gives it two paws. <laughs> you chewing your paw out. How you chewing your bone while you're in the air? All right, man, thanks for watching. Peace.